Samba. The server message block, SMB, protocol was originally designed at IBM for use in DOS operating systems. Microsoft started working with it in 1990 and has incorporated it in Windows since Windows 3.1.1, which was Windows for workgroups. The Samba package implements SMB and uses it for communication with Windows devices. The SMB protocol has many security concerns. The SMB protocol has received many security updates since Windows Vista. However, it is known to be a security risk because of older, older implementations and even some newer bugs. We can use SMB to hack into Windows XP and Windows Server 2003 machines. With Windows XP, all you had to do was have file sharing ports open through the firewall or just have your firewall turned off, which was very common for gaming back in the Windows XP days. Windows Server 2003 came right out of the box open for attacks and complete takeover through the SMB protocol. Many major companies, including Sony, have been hacked through the SMB protocol. There are a lot of useful packages in Samba. In the Samba set, there is the Samba package, which installs Samba and dependencies. You have the Samba client, which provides the SMB client, which allows you to navigate through a remote Samba share and download and upload files. You have SIFS utils, which allows you to mount Samba shares, and you can even set it up so they mount automatically in your FS tab file. The Samba service can be started using the systemctl command. Just use systemctl start SMB, and it will start the Samba server. You can also stop, restart, and check status. If you wanted to start at boot time, you just use the systemctl enable smb.service to enable it. In order to allow other machines outside of your individual server to mount your Samba shares, you need to open up a hole in the firewall. So the easiest way to do that is to add the Samba service. So you can use the firewall-cmd command. You can add the zone if you want. Then dash dash add dash service equals Samba. You can verify the service is present in the firewall using multiple commands, my favorite being the bottom right there, which was or is firewall-cmd space dash dash list dash all, which will list all of the services that are available through the firewall. When you want to configure Samba, the main configuration files are found in the etc Samba directory. The most important of those configura configuration files is the SMB Conf. You might be able to find a file like smb.conf.example and you might want to copy that over the smb.conf file before you start editing and then you can go in and set all kinds of configuration settings because they'll be available and easy to see. Here is an example of an excerpt of, well, part of the smb.conf file. We have a share called software which is being exported that share is based on the slash share slash software directory. So whatever files in that slash share, share slash software directory are being exported. When that directory shows up on a remote machine, it will be called Windows Software Packages. It is public, so you can see it. It is writable, so it's read-write, but it is not printable, so it's not a printer. So that's the information you see right there. When you want to share your Samba shares, you might have issues with SE Linux and their context. SE Linux is very good for protecting you from very bad mistakes you might make. But files shared using Samba should have the correct SE Linux context type of a Samba underscore share underscore T in order to be able to be viewable by the Samba service. To change the context of the file, you can use the chcon command which is change context. So chcon minus t for the type samba underscore share underscore t and then your file name or director name and it will change the context type so that the samba service can see the file. If you're having trouble with samba it's good to verify the IP addresses are correct. You want to verify the services are running. 
you can use netstat to view that you can verify the firewall is not in the way using the firewall dash cmd space dash dash list dash all command to see which services are allowed through the firewall you can verify the se linux context is set correctly you can use this ls minus capital z or ls minus al capital z and that will tell you the context type of all the files in the directory or you can just do ls minus capital z of the file to list its context type if it's a directory you want to add a d in there so there's all kinds of things you can verify the remote host is up using ping you can verify remote ports are open using nmap from a remote machine and you can also check the logs to see what's happening and that is your overview for Samba.